This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And Apple has been, well, first of all, one's very fortunate if you get to work on just one of these in your career. Apple's been very fortunate. It's been able to introduce a few of these into the world. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple. It changed the whole computer industry. In 2001, we introduced the first iPod. And it didn't, just, it didn't just change the way we all listen to music. It changed the entire music industry. Well, today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod. <laughs> a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. On January 9th, 2007, Steve Jobs, then CEO of Apple, unveiled the original iPhone. Jobs showcased its revolutionary features, marking a significant moment in the mobile industry. The iPhone's introduction marked a turning point for smartphones, with its multi-dutch technology setting it apart. As Jobs demonstrated the device, the world witnessed the birth of a new era in communication. The iPhone's impact on the market was immense, leading to over 2.2 billion units sold by November 2018. Its influence only grew, securing a 15.6% share in the global smartphone market by 2022. Apple continued to innovate, annually releasing new iPhone models and iOS updates. The evolution of the iPhone brought about amazing performance camera security and accessibility. The iPhone X marked a departure from the home button. Apple embraced the bezel-less screen design, introducing Face ID and gesture-based navigation. Despite these advancements, the iPhone SE retained Touch ID, catering to users who preferred the familiar home button. Over time, the iPhone solidified its position as the best smartphone in the world. Its presence extended beyond functionality, setting up a significant foothold in the luxury market. The success of the original iPhone reverberated through subsequent models, each receiving acclaim for its technological advancements. The iPhone played a crucial role in popularizing smartphones and fostering the app economy. The App Store, boasting over 2.2 million iPhone applications as of January 2017, became a testament to the platform's thriving ecosystem. As we reflect on the journey of the iPhone, its impact transcends the realm of technology, shaping the way we communicate, experience the digital world, The development of the original iPhone began in 2004 when a team of 1,000 employees 
led by hardware engineer Tony Fidel, software engineer Scott Forstall, and design officer Johnny Ive, was assembled for the confidential project Purple. Tony Fidel, Scott Forstall, and Johnny Ive worked tirelessly to bring their vision to life. The then Apple CEO, Steve Jobs, shifted the focus from a tablet to a phone. Steve Jobs collaborated closely with the team, ensuring a seamless integration of hardware and software. Apple avoided the design by committee approach that had led to the unsuccessful Motorola or OKRE1, a phone created in collaboration with Motorola. Singular Wireless, later renamed AT&T Mobility, played a crucial role in this collaboration, allowing Apple to develop the iPhone's hardware and software in-house, an unusual practice at the time. In exchange for exclusive sales in the United States for four years, until 2011, Singular secured a groundbreaking partnership with Apple. The project, with an estimated development cost of $150 million over 30 months, marked a pivotal moment in the tech industry. On January 9, 2007, at the Macworld 2007 convention in San Francisco's Moscone Center, Steve Jobs introduced the world to iPhone. This groundbreaking device featured a 3.5-inch multi-touch display with just one physical button, and ran on the iPhone OS, which was promoted as a touch-friendly extension of OS X. The iPhone made its official debut on June 29, 2007, with an initial price tag of $499 in the United States, and was exclusively available with a two-year contract from AT&T. The unveiling of the iPhone marked a pivotal moment in the tech industry, reshaping the way people communicate and interact with mobile devices. Steve Jobs, the visionary behind this revolutionary product, envisioned a device that combined a mobile phone, multimedia player, and wireless internet device. Jobs' presentation captivated the audience, setting the stage for the iPhone's immense success and influencing the future of smartphones. The iPhone's impact continues to resonate, shaping the landscape of technology and communication to this day. On July 11, 2008, at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference 2008, Apple announced the iPhone 3G, making it available in 22 countries on its launch day and later in 70 countries and territories. The iPhone 3G brought faster 3G connectivity and a more affordable starting price of $199 with a two-year AT&T contract. This innovation gained immense popularity surpassing the Motorola RAZR V3 as the best-selling cell phone in the United States by the end of 2008. The iPhone 3G success marked a significant milestone in the history of mobile technology. The iPhone 3G's announced at WWDC 2009 on June 8, 2009, added video recording capabilities. Apple enthusiasts were excited about this new feature, as it allowed them to capture moments in a way they had not before. The device quickly gained popularity, and tech enthusiasts praised its additions. The iPhone 3G set the stage for future advancements in smartphone technology. The iPhone 4 announced on June 7, 2010, at WWDC 2010, boasted a sleek design with a stainless steel frame and a rear glass panel. At its debut, the device proudly claimed the title of the world's thinnest smartphone. Powering this innovation was the Apple A4 chip, marking the first iPhone to employ a chip crafted by Apple itself. The iPhone 4 brought forth the Retina display showcasing four times the display resolution compared to earlier iPhones, making it the highest resolution smartphone screen in the world. Additionally, the device ushered in the era of FaceTime with the introduction of a front-facing camera. Come January 2011, as Apple's exclusive partnership with AT&T was concluding, Verizon announced that they too would offer the iPhone 4, with the model compatible with Verizon's CDMA network becoming available on February 10. On October 4, 2011, Apple announced the iPhone 4S showcasing Siri, a powerful dual-core A5 chip, and an impressive 8-megapixel camera capable of recording high-quality 1080p videos. Siri was a notable change, revolutionizing the way users interacted with their smartphones. Siri's voice recognition technology allowed users to perform tasks with just their voice, from sending messages to setting reminders. The A5 chip, powering the iPhone 4S provided a significant boost in performance, enabling smoother multitasking and faster app launches. The 8-megapixel camera, a standout feature, delivered stunning photos and videos, making the iPhone 4S a top choice for photography enthusiasts. On September 12, 2012, Apple announced the iPhone 5. This device featured a larger 4-inch screen, a significant upgrade from the 3.5-inch screens of earlier iPhone models. It also brought lightning-fast 4G LTE connectivity to the table. Notably, the iPhone 5 sported a sleek and lightweight aluminum alloy body. Apple also bid farewell to the old 30-pin dock connector introducing the new and reversible lightning connector. 
The iPhone 5's unveiling generated widespread excitement among tech enthusiasts and consumers alike. The sleek design and improved features captured the attention of many, making it a significant milestone in Apple's history. As the anticipation built up, people eagerly awaited the release date to get their hands on this groundbreaking device. On September 10, 2013, Apple announced the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C. The iPhone 5S marked a significant milestone with its introduction of the 64-bit A7 chip, making it the world's first 64-bit smartphone. Additionally, the device pioneered the integration of Touch ID. Meanwhile, the iPhone 5C offered a more affordable choice, featuring hardware from the iPhone 5 enclosed in vibrant plastic casings. Apple's announcement generated considerable excitement in the tech community, with many anticipating the impact these new devices would have on the smartphone market. On September 9, 2014, Apple announced the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, featuring significantly larger screens compared to the iPhone 5S, measuring 4.7 inches and 5.5 inches, respectively. Both models seamlessly integrated mobile payment technology through Apple Pay. The 6 Plus camera saw the introduction of optical image stabilization. Simultaneously, the Apple Watch made its debut serving as a smartwatch that seamlessly works in tandem with an iPhone. On September 9, 2015, Apple announced the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus featuring a robust frame crafted from a reinforced aluminum alloy. The devices also showcased an enhanced 12-megapixel primary camera, delivering superior resolution and enabling impressive 4K video recording capabilities. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus quickly gained popularity among consumers for their advanced features and sleek design. Users particularly appreciated the improved camera performance, making it a significant upgrade from the previous models. As the demand for the new iPhone surged, Apple faced the challenge of meeting production targets to satisfy ear customers around the world. The iPhone SE announced on March 21, 2016, seamlessly blended hardware from the iPhone 6S into the iconic design like the iPhone 5S. Apple enthusiasts were thrilled with the compact yet powerful device, praising its performance and the nostalgic feel of the classic design. The iPhone SE quickly gained popularity, becoming a favorite among users who appreciated a smaller form factor without compromising on features. As more consumers adopted the iPhone SE, it solidified its place in Apple's product lineup, appealing to a diverse range of users with varying preferences. On September 7, 2016, Apple announced the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, showcasing enhanced camera sensors, IP67 certified water and dust resistance, and a quad-core A10 Fusion chip employing Big Little technology. The 3.5mm headphone jack was phased out. Noteworthy enhancements included the addition of optical image stabilization to the iPhone 7S camera, while the 7 Plus introduced a second telephoto lens enabling 2 times optical zoom. The portrait photography mode was also introduced. Apple's bold decisions in design and functionality sparked discussions among tech enthusiasts worldwide. The company's emphasis on innovation and user experience solidified its position as a leader in the smartphone industry. On September 12, 2017, Apple announced the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10 at the Steve Jobs Theater in Apple Park. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus embraced rear glass panel designs reminiscent of the iPhone 4, incorporated wireless charging, and housed a hexacore 11 Bionic chip featuring the neural engine. The iPhone 10 showcased a 5.8-inch OLED Super Retina display with the bezel-less design, boasting a higher pixel density and contrast ratio compared to earlier iPhones with LCD displays. The device introduced a robust stainless steel frame and Face ID system within a distinctive screen cutout, replacing Touch ID and dropping the home button to maximize screen real estate. The iPhone 10 had a starting price of $999. The iPhone XS, XS Max, and iPhone XR were announced on September 12, 2018. All models showcased a smart HDR computational photography system and a notably enhanced neural engine. The XS Max introduced an expansive 6.5-inch screen. The iPhone XR featured a 6.1-inch LCD liquid retina display embracing a bezel-less design reminiscent of the iPhone X. Notably, it distinguished itself with a spectrum of vibrant colors reminiscent of the iPhone 5C. Positioned as a more affordable option, it provided an alternative to the premium 10S models. On September 10, 2019, Apple announced the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 11 continued the legacy of the iPhone XR, while the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max built upon the foundation laid by the iPhone XS and XS Max. Noteworthy enhancements included the addition of an ultra-wide lens, facilitating two times optical zoom out, and extended battery life. As Apple enthusiasts eagerly awaited the release, 
The new feature sparked a surge in pre-orders for all three models. With its impressive camera capabilities and improved performance, the iPhone 11 series quickly became a milestone in the evolution of smartphones. On April 17, 2020, Apple announced the iPhone SE second generation, an affordable marvel seamlessly integrating advanced hardware from the iPhone 11 into the timeless design similar to the iPhone 8. The device had the iconic home button and touch ID, delivering a cutting-edge yet familiar user experience. It is a remarkable achievement, bridging the gap between modern technology and beloved design elements. On October 13, 2020, Apple announced the iPhone 12 series through a captivating live stream event. The lineup included the iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max, each showcasing vibrant OLED Super Retina XDR displays. Introducing 5G connectivity, the devices also embraced the MagSafe magnetic charging and accessory system. A sleek flat-edge design, coupled with ceramic shield, offered enhanced drop protection, elevating durability beyond previous iPhone standards. The iPhone 12 mini presented a compact 5.4-inch screen, while the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max boasted larger displays of 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches, respectively. The iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max further distinguished themselves with the inclusion of the LiDAR sensor, elevating precision in augmented reality applications. On September 14, 2021, Apple announced the iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max through a live stream event. The models showcased enhanced camera, extended battery life, and a more compact screen cutout. The iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max also introduced the ProMotion technology, providing a smoother adaptive 120Hz refresh rate on their OLED displays, along with the 3x optical zoom capability in the telephoto lens. Apple enthusiasts were thrilled by the improvements, eagerly anticipating the release of these cutting-edge devices. On March 8, 2022, Apple announced the affordable iPhone SE third generation, featuring the advanced A15 Bionic chip from the iPhone 13. The iPhone SE continues to impress with its powerful capabilities, showcasing the seamless integration of cutting-edge technology into a compact design. Despite its affordable price, the device does not compromise on performance, making it an attractive option for users seeking a balance between cost and functionality. The A15 Bionic chip ensures a smooth and efficient user experience, whether you are navigating through apps, capturing stunning photos, or enjoying graphics-intensive games. The iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max were announced on September 7, 2022, showcasing revolutionary features. All models now boast satellite phone emergency calling functionality. The iPhone 14 Plus inherits the expansive 6.7-inch screen size from the iPhone 12 Pro Max, providing a premium visual experience. Notably, the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max mark a significant camera upgrade, featuring a groundbreaking 48-megapixel main camera, the first such increase since the iPhone 6S. The introduction of always-on display technology coupled with Dynamic Island. On September 12, 2023, Apple announced the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max. The iPhone 15 lineup marks a significant shift, as all models now employ USB-C as their power connector. This change replaces Apple's proprietary Lightning connector, which had been in use for 11 years in preceding models. The inclusion of Dynamic Island, a distinctive feature first introduced with the iPhone 14 Pro, is maintained across all models. Additionally, the traditional display notch present in earlier models has been phased out. Until the iPhone 4, all Apple devices, including the iPod Touch models and iPads, were produced by Foxconn situated in Taiwan. In 2011, CEO Tim Cook revamped the manufacturing strategy to include a diversified set of suppliers. Tim Cook's decision proved pivotal for Apple's production efficiency. The iPhone 4S in 2012 marked a significant shift, being the inaugural model manufactured concurrently by two independent companies, Foxconn and Pegatron the latter also based in Taiwan. While Foxconn is still the primary producer of iPhones, Pegatron's share of orders has gradually expanded. Notably, Pegatron contributed to the iPhone 5C line in 2013, and 30% of iPhone 6 devices in 2014, while the 6 Plus model remained the exclusive domain of Foxconn. In 2019, Apple proactively investigated reports of Foxconn managers using rejected components in iPhone assembly. In India, Apple engages Wistron, a Taiwan-based manufacturer with a facility near Bangalore for iPhone assembly. Wistron's role in the production process showcased Apple's global collaborations. In 2022, responding to China's zero-COVID policy affecting global supply chains, 
Apple announced that a segment of iPhone 14 would be manufactured in Tamil Nadu, India. Apple's decision demonstrated its adaptability to geopolitical challenges. Apple aims to transition 25% of iPhone production to India by 2025. The iPhone boasts exclusive features like 3D Touch and the Taptic Engine. At its core, the touchscreen, with current models featuring screens of 4.7 inches and beyond, serves as the primary hardware. The iPhone 7 Plus notably introduced multiple lenses to the rear-facing camera. Various sensors including a proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, accelerometer, gyroscopic sensor, magnetometer, and either Face ID or Touch ID, contribute to the device's capabilities. In a forward-looking move, Apple incorporated satellite communications into the iPhone in 2022, unveiling it with the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro. iPhone runs on iOS leveraging macOS's Darwin and incorporating many of its userland APIs. Coco is substituted with Coco Touch, and UIKit takes the place of AppKit. The graphics stack is powered by Metal, Apple's low-overhead graphics API. The iPhone itself is equipped with a suite of pre-installed applications crafted by Apple. Apple offers complimentary over their updates to iOS, or users can opt for updates through a Mac or PC. Historically, significant iOS releases coincide with the launch of new iPhone models. On June 11, 2007, at WWDC 2007, Apple unveiled plans for the iPhone to support third-party Ajax web applications mirroring the iconic iPhone interface. In an open letter posted on Apple's Hot News weblog on October 17, 2007, Steve Jobs announced the forthcoming availability of a software development kit SDK for third-party developers by February 2008. The official release of the iPhone SDK took place on March 6, 2008. The App Store made its debut with the launch of iPhone OS 2.0 on July 11, 2008. All applications are mandated to be obtained exclusively from the App Store, though exceptions are made for ad hoc apps used within enterprises. Developers are required to pay an annual $99 fee as part of the Apple Developer Program. Developers can offer free or paid apps, with Apple taking a 30% cut of proceeds. However, those earning less than $1 million in annual sales qualify for the App Store Small Business Program, where Apple's fee is reduced to 15%. The iOS app ecosystem is widely regarded as superior, boasting higher quality apps and more iOS exclusive releases. Prior to distribution in the App Store, all apps must undergo Apple's app review process. App download milestones include surpassing over 140 billion downloads from the App Store as of September 2016. In January 2017, the App Store boasted over 2.2 million apps for the iPhone. The iPhone incorporates an array of accessibility features designed to cater to users' visual, auditory, and motor requirements. Notifications can be delivered through on-screen banners, audio alerts, vibrations, or the LED flash with customizable vibration patterns. Starting from iOS 15, Siri is capable of reading notifications aloud via headphones and, as of iOS 16, through the device's speakers. For users with motor needs, Assistive Touch offers customizable navigation options, helping those facing challenges with certain gestures like pinching. This feature makes gestures accessible through a simple tap on a menu, allowing users to create personalized gestures and adjust the Assistive Touch menu layout. If pressing the home button poses difficulties, it can be activated with an on-screen tap. Even gestures like rotate and shake remain available when the device is mounted on a wheelchair. Head tracking enables control of an iPhone using facial movements recognized by the front camera. Low Vision users can activate VoiceOver, a screen reader providing auditory descriptions of on-screen content, while Siri facilitates hands-free interaction. Wireless Braille displays are supported for interface readability, and system-wide text enlargement is available. The Magnifier app uses the iPhone's LiDAR sensor to identify and describe objects, including doors, people, and their distances. Door detection alerts users through sound, speech, and haptics. Hearing aids within the Made for iPhone program can be managed from an iPhone, and include Live Listen, transforming the iPhone into a directional microphone for compatible hearing aids. Live Listen aids in hearing conversations in noisy environments or from a distance. All AirPods integrated with Live Listen support can relay audio from the connected iPhone's microphone. Closed captioning, external teletypewriter devices, and live caption for transcribing audio across apps are supported. Sound recognition identifies surrounding noises and notifies users with on-screen alerts. 
Guided access assists individuals with autism, ADHD, or sensory challenges by focusing on a single app allowing parental or therapist control over device access and usage time restrictions. Keyboard and touch input restrictions on specific screen areas can also be implemented. The original iPhone generated significant pre-release excitement, strategically building anticipation through a robust promotional campaign. Upon its official debut, Apple orchestrated an extensive marketing effort across television, web, and print platforms in collaboration with TVWH at day. The iPhone's premium positioning in the market has positioned it as a coveted status symbol. The Apple ecosystem serves as a formidable mode, fostering brand loyalty for the iPhone. In 2013, Apple introduced an option for individuals buying an iPhone. The opportunity to benefit from a trade-in discount when buying a new device directly from Apple. This initiative aimed to encourage more customers to choose Apple stores over carrier outlets for their purchases. Two years later, in 2015, Apple took it a step further with the iPhone upgrade program. Fortune characterized this program as a transformative alteration of iPhone owners' interactions with mobile carriers offering a 24-month leasing agreement. The program allowed users to upgrade their iPhones annually, creating a new standard for the smartphone industry. Apple exclusively authorizes its own stores and Apple authorized service providers to carry out authentic replacements. For iPhones featuring Touch ID, unauthorized replacements of the home button, without access to Apple's calibration tool, result in the loss of Touch ID functionality. Starting with the iPhone XR, Apple integrated warnings in the Settings app for unauthorized replacements of the battery display or camera. Furthermore, certain features are not compatible with non-genuine parts, such as True Tone or the battery health measurement. In 2022, Apple introduced a self-service repair program, enabling users to buy parts, rent repair tools directly from Apple, and access repair manuals. Apple introduced the app tracking transparency feature in iOS 14.5 in April 2021. The feature mandates that apps seek explicit permission from the user before tracking user activity across other companies' apps and websites. If the user declines, the app is barred from accessing Apple's identifier for advertisers, an essential identifier for delivering personalized ads. It is important to note that app tracking transparency does not impede the display of personalized ads based on the user's behavior within the app itself. The implementation of app tracking transparency faced criticism, particularly from entities like Meta, whose shares saw a 26% decline post rollout. In August 2021, Apple unveiled its intention to examine iCloud photos for instances of child abuse imagery using the neural hash algorithm. Simultaneously, the company introduced a measure to filter explicit images and messages sent or received by minors on iPhones, known as Communication Safety, set to be released later in the year. Over 90 policy and human rights organizations expressed their opposition to both functionalities in an open letter. Apple's decision to employ neural hash on the device rather than in the cloud prompted criticism from the EFF and security experts, who labeled it a potential backdoor threatening user privacy if expanded to detect other content types. Although Apple initially defended the system, it later clarified in December 2022 that the photo scanning feature would never be implemented. Notably, the communication safety feature was successfully integrated into iOS 15.2. In the realm of cybersecurity, the iPhone stands out, being acknowledged by security experts for its heightened resistance to prevalent malware in comparison to competition. iOS, the operating system powering the iPhone, is the target of less than 1% of mobile malware a testament to its robust security measures. Apple has invested heavily in creating a closed ecosystem that limits the potential vulnerabilities. The company's commitment to user privacy is clear in the frequent updates and patches released for all Apple devices. This dedication has earned Apple a reputation for providing a secure digital environment for its users. Pre-2014 marked an era where iPhones stored all data, including messages, pictures, and videos, contacts, audio recordings, and call history in an unencrypted format. With the introduction of iOS 8, a shift occurred, bringing file-based encryption into play. Apple, true to its commitment to user privacy, ensured it did not have the decryption key, making it impervious to government demands, even with a warrant. The 2015 to 2016 dispute between Apple and the FBI unfolded when the FBI sought a court order, 
Invoking the Allritz app to compel Apple to create a modified iOS for brute forcing an iPhone 5 CS passcode. In response, Tim Cook on Apple's website emphasized the necessity of encryption, arguing against compromising all iPhone users' privacy with a potential backdoor. The Department of Justice withdrew its request after the FBI got an exploit to bypass the iPhone's passcode. To address evolving challenges, Apple later implemented USB restricted mode. In 2016, a suite of exploits targeting all smartphones, known as Pegasus, garnered significant international media attention. Notably, certain Pegasus exploits run seamlessly without any user interaction, a category referred to as zero-click exploits. An example involves sending a malformed message that does not trigger a notification but fully compromises the device. Pegasus can collect extensive data including chats, passwords, and photos, and can remotely activate the phone's microphone and camera. Apple responded promptly by releasing an update that addressed vulnerabilities such as force sedentary and other known Pegasus exploits. Despite Apple's efforts, Pegasus persisted by leveraging new exploits. In a bold move Apple took legal action against NSO, the entity behind Pegasus, introduced a new security bounty, and incorporated an optional lockdown mode into iOS 16. This mode effectively reduces the iPhone's attack surface. Notable figures including Jamal Khashoggi, activists, business people, and politicians, have fallen victim to Pegasus since its widespread use began in 2011. As of July 2022, Pegasus continues to be employed by law enforcement and governments. The original iPhone has been hailed as revolutionary a breakthrough handheld computer, and the best phone that anybody has ever made. It stands as Apple's best-selling product, contributing to Apple's ascent as one of the world's most valuable publicly traded companies by 2011. Subsequent iterations have garnered acclaim and accolades. Pre-iPhone phones primarily serve texting calls and email purposes. Navigating advanced functions on a small screen was cumbersome. Additionally, the lack of a robust app ecosystem, like the App Store introduced in 2008, hindered progress. Many phones heavily modified by carriers, suffered from feature fragmentation and failed to evolve into thriving software platforms. In contrast, Apple's iPhone SDK offered a diverse array of APIs, simplifying mobile development and transforming the iPhone into a versatile Swiss Army knife with an array of features and apps. The iPhone's successive models have cultivated fervent fan enthusiasm, with customers eagerly queuing up at Apple stores on launch day. As of 2023, the iPhone boasts higher brand loyalty than any other smartphone. Its triumph has precipitated the decline of established players like Nokia Blackberry and Motorola. Attempts by RIM, Symbian, and Microsoft to develop modern operating systems proved unsuccessful. Apple's approach to mobile technology reshaped the industry, setting a new standard for smartphones. The company's founder, Steve Jobs, played a pivotal role in driving the iPhone's success. Jobs' vision for a device that seamlessly combined communication, entertainment, and productivity fueled Apple's relentless pursuit of excellence. Jobs' charisma and showmanship were clear in his iconic product launches, captivating audiences with each new iPhone unveiling. The impact of Jobs' legacy can still be felt today, as Apple continues to iterate and push the boundaries of what a smartphone can achieve. Apple's approach to entry-level phones differs from competition, who opt for distinct offerings. Apple features previous year's models in this category. This strategic move serves to bolster Apple's market presence in emerging economies, while maintaining the premium image associated with the brand.